the key clock, it plays like a piano, as Celeste does, but it is bright and sparkly and has a heart attack. But rarely do you actually see a key glock out in the wild anymore. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen it used in film, but it certainly could be and should be. It is capable of much more adventurous and complicated parts. Kind of a cool sound together. I am Jeff Stradling. I'm a composer, arranger, orchestrator, and keyboardist here in Los Angeles with most of my focus on orchestration and arranging, so putting notes on the page for composers in film, TV, video games, commercials, and libraries. We're in Warehouse One, LA Percussion Rentals. We decided to do a refreshed, revamped Keeper Glock and Celeste video. There are known things that the instruments are used for and a lot of combinations and, and contrasts that most people don't know. And so we're gonna to try to show some of those things, not just the normal way, but, but some fresh and new ideas too. The Celeste tends to be more soft and pretty. And the keyboard Glockenspiel is much brighter and harsher. Celeste is in thousands of movies, TV shows. It's, it's very, very common. It's used certainly in a, a fantasy way. It's used orchestrally very often in conjunction with the harp, which is a typical impressionist color from music of Debussy and Ravel. And the key glock is really um, not anywhere near as common. So in the modern orchestra, we have glockenspiel. Right. Which we're going to call mallet glock for purposes yeah. here, right? right? But long ago, a couple centuries ago, we had the keyboard glockenspiel. This instrument is a predecessor to the celeste. So what we ended up having actually is mallet glock substituting for key glock. And we also sometimes have celeste substituting for key glock as well. But rarely do you actually see key glock out in the wild anymore. There are many different ways that key glock has actually been called for. So we're gonna list those on the screen. <laughs> It has lots of different names. Yeah. And also you can tell by the complexity of a part. Is it playable on a mallet glock at all? Yeah. <laughs> they use some of those pieces that are really extra crazy on mallets. They use those as, as some of the audition pieces. Because yeah. they're literally just like, well, yeah. if you can do this, then. <laughs> right. right. The portability and ease and probably cost of a mallet glock kind of superseded. Yeah. But I think it's interesting to note that in reality, a lot of pieces actually did call for this instrument. And it really just, it plays like a piano as Celeste does, but it is bright and sparkly and has a heart attack. And as she said, there's a, there's a damper on each note. So as you release the note, it stops it individually. So again, you could have notes sustaining and notes staccato, same on here. For a mallet block, it's all one or the other. You could also, of course, play them together if you have them set up like this. They both have a sustain pedal, like a piano does. Or in unison, you play melodies in unison, melodies in octave. I can play the same harmony. Or they could play variations on the same harmony. I'll leave the same four note chords in the celeste and just play the top and bottom in the key glock. So here we can see how it works. A little hammer hitting on a metal bar inside. Right. With the action of the Celeste, it's similar, but it has a softer hammer. It's more like a piano hammer hitting on a, a metal bar. It's very interesting how it alternates between the, the front and the back metal bars going up. You can see. Glock 
Glock Glock. This is a glockenspiel, and this is called a round top glockenspiel, which is especially sought after in the orchestral scenes. It's yeah. extra sparkly, it's an antique. This has more hammer attack, and that has more high spark ring. Yeah, I feel like this has more overtone yes, stuff going right. on, right? Mm -hmm. And that's drier. Yeah. I want to point out that we don't always have to play open. Any mal instrument can be played, played closed or buzzed or whatnot, right? So. I think it's just a cool option to think about that we don't always just have to write exactly the same. Another option that we haven't talked about is these don't have to be either or, you could have both of them. They make a great combination together. These are song bells and they're kind of semi-standard. It's almost as if you took the actual bars out of a celeste. Yeah, this has a little more attack than those mallets, but with a harder mallet, they'd be more similar. But often I feel like when they write for song bells, they want more of that, the song feel and they want less of the glock. So yes, I'm not sure how much you would actually hear how common this is, but hey, it's all for grabs. Also want to point out there's no, like, there's no pedal or nothing on here. It's like a Glock in that way. Right. What mallets would this most commonly be played with? For more of that round sound, maybe something like a hard yarn. It does sound similar to a uh, celeste, but the sound is a bit more hollow. Yeah. One more thing on this. If I want to play four mallets. I have an unfair advantage of 10 fingers. <laughs> thing called Parsifal Bells, which is essentially this extra large extended range Glock. This hammer is a little bit different, but it's essentially a Glock. Right. But this one does have a, a dampening pedal, but it's not individual dampeners like it is on right. these it's, instruments. It's, it's, it's global. Now it has a little extra level of brightness that this doesn't have yeah. down there. All right, so if I change to, let's just go way extreme, and I change to these little tiny brass mallets, yeah. let's see how it goes. It still has a level of brightness yeah. this doesn't have. Parsable bells just have an extra, extra sparkle to them. That's <laughs> <laughs> a muted. Okay, a lot of times toy piano is called for and keyboard glockenspiel or celeste might be better. So we just set up the toy piano so you can hear all three of them. Celeste, e You can see that the toy piano still always sounds like a toy. This is much more, much more precise. You could of course play them together. There's no reason you couldn't, so. The piano is kind of a little sloppy sounding. There's no dampers on it. It's out of tune and it's actually playing in octaves at the same time. If you play this, you're getting two Fs at the same time. So we were doing a little improvisation before we started rolling. We'll, we'll start doing that okay. again.
And if you've heard keyboard glockenspiel anywhere else, please leave it in the comments below. <laughs> this sounds almost the same. <laughs>